Hey guys, this is Brendan Soul here, and today we're doing something a little different. We're looking at a interactive CD round for Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Now this is from 2001. I have no idea how I got this, but let's just go through with it. So I couldn't figure out how to make this any bigger. So sorry about that, but we got Maxim Ladies over here. 2001 right there, Aid Software, Grey Matter, Activision, so Overview, let's see what that is. The Heart Stopping follow up to one of the rare PC games of all time. The Granddaddy of 3D Shooters is back from next gen. The action unfolds as almost as if you were in a movie. Alright. So I guess, so it's built on the powerful Quake 3 in Arena Engine. It's pretty cool. So I guess these are screenshots. Okay, so it's gonna be really slow, I think. Alright, pretty, looking pretty good. Story, you are a BG Blaskovich. Uh, yeah. Doesn't look as good right now, but whatever. Here's the trailer. We'll watch this trailer. We'll watch everything, I think. Bes uh, there's a music video section, but I, I'll probably just move, mute the audio. We'll be good to that part so I don't get copyright strike. And I was trying to mess around in the files to try to get this to full screen, but I couldn't figure it out. And it probably looked really bad. So. Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad for a game that came out in 2001. I have this for the PS2, I think. So maybe we'll play that one day. Uh, let's see, playing. Yeah, I've played the new ones. I like the, the first, uh, the New Order, I think it was. I like that one. I didn't like New Colossus as much. The Old Blood was pretty cool. Old Sign Young Blood was okay, I guess. Fun co op. Got to play it for free because I was using the Buddy Pass. Back then, we're all gameplay, huh? Shooting some dudes. Looks like a pretty fun game. Probably doesn't age as well, but what are you gonna do? It's uh, 19 years old. Wolfenstein. It's a software game produced by Activision and developed by Grey Matter Studios. The split screen begins this Christmas. Gotta watch out. Right in them. Alright, let's go to behind enemy lines. Now, this is like a making of, so I'll probably not talk during this part. Just see if you can watch it. Well, maybe I'll do it. Commentary over it, who knows? I find something interesting to say. Ooh, that was just a sort of kick. My name is Drew Markham. I'm the creative director here at Grey Matter Interactive. Return of Castle Wolfenstein is a semi-retelling of the original Wolfenstein 3D. 
We start the story in 943 AD, and this Teutonic prince named Henry the Fowler, or Henry the, as he's also I have, known, I had no idea that has channeled the last of the great dark of magic, and he's been able to sort of manifest this in raising an army of the undead, and he's essentially trying to, you know, conquer the world with that. And a thousand years later, they are finally able to unearth some of the remains that they need to put the last pieces of the puzzle together that they need to resurrect Heinrich. Behind enemy lines, we can go for Castle Wolfenstein. As the art director on Castle Wolfenstein, I deal with all the art that goes into the game. I conceptualize the levels with the level designers, and I work hand in hand with the director to bring this game to life. My favorite level is the salt on the airbase. Um, there's a lot of different things going on in that level, and also visually, uh, it's a very exciting level. We looked at old Luftwaffe jet aircraft, and we basically just made it more interesting and more exciting. Depending on the environments, we pay attention to what what is going on in those environments, and we make this the characters so look early like they fit into them. Aesthetics of My the name is Corky videos are made. and I'm character designer. What I'll do is I'll make a, uh, a profile image a front view and a back view and then I'll oh, okay. scan that into the computer take it into the 3D program and modeling apply texture coordinates and then that makes the, the chest part starts by skinning the character create clothes and whatever other accents you want to put on it and then it goes into the game US Army Ranger my favorite character in the game is, is definitely B.J. Blazkowicz, of course. Uh, he's, the, uh, he's the hero. He's the, uh, the American quintessential uh, kick down the door, take no prisoners uh, type of guy. Since this is a first person shooter and uh, B.J. is going to have a lot of work in front of him, uh, we've decided to supply him with uh, lots and lots of uh, tools of the trade, lots of weapons. We do have uh, all the standard World War II era weapons in the game. But uh, the Nazis, being as they were, the uh, ingenious little inventors that they were, uh, sometimes good, sometimes extremely horrific, we've come up with a few uh, weapons of our own that we feel that, that they may have had in their arsenal. One of which is the, uh, the Venom gun. It's been getting a lot of uh, notice lately, and it's, it's, it's a really popular weapon in the game, and it's, it's pretty devastating. Uh, as well as the flamethrower, it's an amazing weapon uh, used in close quarters combat, clear room, flamethrower, manholes, and such. As well as uh, the test sci -fi weapon. Basically, what it does is it uh, shoots uh, arcs of electricity out, with varying degrees of, of, uh, of damage depending on how many enemies are in the room. I'm Richard Farley, I'm a level designer here at Grey Matter. As BJ, you start off, you, you, you've been knocked unconscious, and you wake up, and you're in the dungeon. And uh, it's very creepy, and there's, you know, there's, there's no bad guys around. And as you slowly work your way up, you come across the, the crazy scientist who just, you know, just killed your buddy. Uh, aside from that, there's, you know, there's not really much activity. And then as you slow, slowly work your way up through the layers of the castle, and there's more bad guys until you come out through this one tower door. And again, you, you see, you see the, the mountains and the trees and the snow, and it's just like this big opening of, of space. And uh, you know, guys walking across the tops of towers, and you know, snipers that spot you when you come out, that kind of thing. Uh, working in the editor is something you have to uh, get used to. Where it's, it's, you have this program that um, represents 3D space, but it's all on a two-dimensional display. So you have to sort of get a hang of that. Um, it can be pretty intimidating at first, with all the lines and entities and you know, vertices and you know, this whatever other ease you can think of. Return of Castle Wolfenstein really has kind of like World War II meets the X-Files. And one of the big challenges in that is that we start Watching this, off I'm expecting to want to try this game out. very realistic World War II setting. We have to move kind of into the like cult and shooter right now. And to do that, we have a secret uh, agency that you work for, the Office of Secret Actions. And when they send you in, they're dubious themselves about the information that they've received. They've heard that uh, these strange paranormal and occult ceremonies are going on. They don't put much credence in them, but they do send you in to check them out because the sources, they say, are reliable enough. And of course, as the player, when you do go in, you find out that not only are they real, they're more than real. It was over the top, more than they even imagined. Yeah, my 
check this out. Let's see if I have an MPS or I might just try to buy it on Steam. If you want me to watch, if you want to watch me play this game, just put it down in the comments below if you want me to just want me to play it for videos and stuff. It's Christmas begins. All right, now we get to the embarrassing stuff, I guess. I looked, I looked at this before to make sure it worked, and it's kind of embarrassing, but it's from the time. So this is Chris Affair, December 31st, 1976, Orange County, height and weight, bust, waist, and hips, don't need to know that. Where you've seen her Playboy Miss September 2000, career was developing her career in the entertainment industry, and what do you consider sexy? Confidence, great personality, and tight jeans, and some tight buns. Okay. Next. You can save these images and install the screen server. I couldn't get that to work, so sorry about that. Dina Brooks, April 30th. Boulder City, Nevada. All this. Miss May 1998, professional singer and dancer, one of the, one of the sexiest things I can think on a guy can possess is a great sense of humor, a sure way to pick me up is to make a total fool of yourself and make me laugh, okay? Victoria Fuller, Victoria's Secret Fantasy, to make love with the top of the Alpha Tower, okay. Have my artwork displayed in a gallery, okay. It's not too bad. Jessica Lee, Playboy Miss August 1996, Perfect 10 Magazine, October 1999. Oh, she got uh, two of them right there. To continue my acting career. Be considered sexy, a great body, lean muscles, and a smile. Okay. So, <laughs> boob babes, I guess. Kind of silly. Can save the pictures. Not uh, that big pictures, but <laughs> I guess they had to put this CD, put some stuff on the CD round. Okay, so this is a music video. So I'll probably mute the audio, maybe. I'm not sure. We'll probably just skip through this, we don't have to... Okay. Okay, so it's, it's like, sounds like it's centered. Kinda of silly, but what you can do? Probably back a little, maybe you wanted to censor it. Sounds totally like a 2000 song. Bonus material not including in video game. Okay, so this is exclusive. Bonus material. Oh. Video's not enough. Okay, if I can show that on YouTube, but. Not too bad of a song, but I probably wouldn't go out of my way to listen to it. Okay, so this is, uh, I think the German music that they have in these games. I think, maybe. Oh, they're gonna not? Okay, I guess not. Look out for this Sin, Pedro, Face Band, knock you, knock you Down to do that too. Okay. Oh, full nine, Canadian Force four some. So that was two. She's using hard driving beats with instant memorable melodies and riffs. Okay, so doesn't want me to do that fast. 
and Fu Manchu next. Fu Manchu has always been about right windows down, stereo crane. Okay. Uh, okay. And Simon says what we just watched the music video for. Blister. Okay, 2001. Let me listen to that now. So this is a Maxim trailer, I think. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to show anything I can't show on YouTube, but we'll see. Maxim Online. Go there now. Click here. I don't want to click there. So now for the newsletter. <laughs> All right. Oh, so that was this disc for Return to Castle Wolfenstein. So yeah, cool little stuff, additional content. Get to learn about the game. Get this trailer. Get some music. Get some. Get a screensaver. Get some screenshots. Some. More well, playboard models, I guess, or maxim models, I don't know. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just comment down below what you, th what you thought. If you ever played this game, or if you want me to play it, I will see you in the next video. And thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And see you later.